you, you've done these, these, these virtual book tours and have taught many authors to do the same. Can you just tell us, first of all, what, what it is? I mean, I've mentioned a little bit, but is it more complex than that? Absolutely. I'd be, I'd be happy to. Um, I love the topic of virtual book tours and taught thousands of authors how to participate in virtual book tours. And what I'll share with you is, bottom line, the benefits are you're going to reach readers across the globe and you're going to co connect with leaders across the globe. And in a little while, Ryan, when we start to talk about the, the mechanics of it and how a virtual book tour connects to a blog, I'm going to ask you to ask me again why virtual book tours sometimes get a bad rap. But I don't want to talk about that now because it's out of context, but I would like to address okay, that. Okay, great. All right, so with a virtual book tour, you can get endorsed by leaders in your industry, which will give you so much credibility as you're introduced to your target audience, the exact people who are interested in your book, in your message. And that will allow you to sell more books and products, get more speaking engagements, and become known as the expert in your field. And so you're taking the words of your book off the page and into the ethers, in, onto the internet and across the globe, and again, without leaving home. And so what you just asked is, what is a virtual book tour? Ryan, I'd like to start by briefly sharing what a virtual book tour is not, and then I'll talk about what a virtual book tour is. Great. So with a traditional book tour where we get in the car, we get in an airplane, and we travel from venue to venue, if we're away from home, we have to, tra we have to pay for travel and lodging. We're away from work and family, and it can be disrupting. And we give presentations to audiences who may or may not show up. Even New York Times best-selling authors will sometimes show up at a bookstore, and no one's there because the PR person didn't put it in the newspaper or the radio show forgot to announce it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've heard of New York Times best-selling authors. So imagine you know, the general author who may be an Amazon best-selling author with not as broad a reach. It's even more crucial to have that PR. Additionally, you have to hope that people will show up and that you'll sell your books. Now, let's say you go to a bookstore and you're scheduled to be there at 5 p.m. And by 6.30, you've finished your book talk, you've answered questions, you've sold some books, you've signed the books, you've packed up, and you've left. And someone shows up at the bookstore at 7 o'clock. Well, they don't even have a clue that you were there unless they see a poster. Hmm. Well, with a virtual book tour, you get much more long-reaching benefits because you can share the, the, your content from the comfort of home, so you don't have to leave home. You can travel from site to site across the internet, so you're reaching a global audience, and you're providing them content at a time that's convenient for them, where the content will be up and available for potentially years or decades into the future, as long as that site is viable. We're going to talk about more about well, what does that mean, content available on the site. But basically, you're sharing your message, and I'll share specifically what I mean about content on people's sites. But the bottom line is, people are going to be able to find you not just from 5 to 6.30 at the bookstore, but on into the future on blogs and websites that are hosted by people that they know and respect and see as leaders in the industry. And those people, those leaders will team up with you to help promote your book and your messages, message to audiences that are hungry for your content. Because blog owners are always looking for new content, new, new messages, new uh, perspective to share with their audience. So it's a win-win-win. It's a win for you because you get exposure. It's right. a win for the blog owner. Yeah, it's a blog, win for the blog owner because they're not having to create all the content. They can bring in another, a guest expert, which is you. Right. And it's a win for the audience because you then have access to all of these new people. So that's pretty exciting as you, you get exposure and you get long, long-reaching arm of the internet. <laughs>